The trial judge tells the jurors not to post anything on social media. If one of the jurors posts comments and photos on Instagram, is that going to result in a mistrial? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. And the answer is, it certainly might. First of all, when the judge gives the jury specific instructions saying you are not to post anything on social media, that means nothing on Facebook, not Twitter, not LinkedIn, not Instagram, not Snapchat, nothing. Now, if one of the jurors disregards the judge's instructions and the judge and the attorneys find out about it, now they have to deal with that particular juror. It doesn't matter why the juror did it. The fact is the juror disregarded the judge's instructions. So now they have to deal with the repercussions. Well, what was actually put on social media? Was it comments about a witness? Was it comments about the trial or the lawyer or the judge? The juror might have put different things that might have prejudiced someone who was also on the jury who follows this person on social media. Or maybe it started a string of comments that now people are posting and now they're commenting on either agreeing or disagreeing with this particular comment or photograph or meme or whatever it is that was put on social media. And now that could gain traction. And next thing you know, people are commenting. Maybe even the news media catches wind of this. Next thing you know, it shows up on the front page of the newspaper, the New York Post, Newsday, New York Times. Guess what? Now there's all this unwanted publicity. And now it could certainly influence how the jurors or the rest of the jurors see this particular case. That's one of the key reasons why the judge will tell the jury, listen, do not put anything on social media because we don't want this possibility where other people are now going to be influencing the jurors on this case. The jurors are only supposed to focus on the evidence and the testimony that's admitted in court at trial. That's it. They're not supposed to talk to jurors about the case until the very end of the case when they go out to deliberate. And they're not supposed to talk to friends or family or workers, co-workers about this case. Why? Because comments that people make might unduly influence them whether consciously or subconsciously, and the court does not want that to happen. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what can happen and has happened in some cases here in New York involving jurors who post things on social media when they are specifically told, don't do it. You know, I recognize you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but haven't done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.